saturated and unsaturated carbon compounds. In this module, you will learn about saturated and unsaturated carbon compounds. Shown here are the molecules of three different carbon compounds. These are ethane, ethene and ethyne. You can notice that in all the three molecules, the number of carbon atoms is two, but the number of hydrogen atoms is different in each case. In an ethane molecule, there are six hydrogen atoms, three linked to each carbon atom. In an ethene molecule, there are four hydrogen atoms, two linked to each carbon atom. And in an ethyne molecule, there are only two hydrogen atoms, one linked to each carbon atom. Now the question is, why the number of hydrogen atoms in these molecules is different? Well, the difference is because of the way the two carbon atoms of these molecules are bonded to each other. Let us understand this in detail. Let us first see the case of an ethane molecule. Here, the two carbon atoms are bonded to each other by sharing one pair of electrons. This leaves each carbon atom with three unsatisfied valencies. For that, each carbon atom shares one electron pair with three hydrogen atoms. A hydrogen atom has only one electron and thus by sharing an electron pair with a carbon atom, it achieves the stable gas configuration. This way, in an ethane molecule, there is a single covalent bond between two carbon atoms. Also, each carbon atom forms a single covalent bond with three hydrogen atoms. The ethane molecule can also be shown in the given manner. Let's now move to the molecule of ethene. In this case, the two carbon atoms share two pairs of electrons with each other. This leaves each carbon atom with two unsatisfied valencies. They only get these valencies satisfied by sharing one pair of electron with two hydrogen atoms. This way, in an ethene molecule, there is a double covalent bond between two carbon atoms. And each carbon atom also forms single covalent bond with two hydrogen atoms. The ethene molecule can also be shown in the given manner. Finally, let us see the bonding between the atoms in an ethyne molecule. In ethyne, two carbon atoms are bonded to each other by sharing three pairs of electrons. This leaves each carbon atom with one unsatisfied valency. They get this valency satisfied by sharing one pair of electrons with one hydrogen atom. Therefore, each carbon atom combines with only one hydrogen atom to complete its octet. Due to the sharing of three pairs of electrons, there is a triple bond between two carbon atoms. Each of these carbon atoms forms one single bond with one hydrogen atom. Ethyne molecule can also be shown in the given manner. So we have just seen that in an ethane molecule, the carbon atoms are bonded to each other with a single bond. Such compounds of carbon that have only single bonds between the carbon atoms are called saturated carbon compounds. In contrast, in ethene and ethyne molecules, the carbon atoms are bonded to each other with double and triple bond respectively. Such carbon compounds that have double or triple bond between the carbon atoms are called unsaturated carbon compounds. Let's recap. Carbon compounds having single bonds between the carbon atoms are known as saturated carbon compounds. Ethane is an example of a saturated carbon compound. Carbon compounds having double or triple bonds between the carbon atoms are known as unsaturated carbon compounds. Ethene and ethyne are examples of unsaturated carbon compounds.